This is Melanie Fine of Chem and 10. Today's chemistry question of the day is, which of the following pairs is listed in order of increasing radius? So let's look at these pairs. First of all, we have fluorine and fluoride. Fluorine has nine electrons. Fluoride with a negative charge has an additional, num an additional electron. So we know that fluoride is going to be larger than fluorine. So already that's one of ours. So this is nine electrons and this is 10 electrons. So I like this one already, but let's look at iodine and chlorine. Iodine and chlorine. Iodine is, is, has its outermost electrons in the fifth energy level, whereas chlorine has its outermost electrons in the third energy level. So since there are more energy levels, iodine is necessarily going to be larger than chlorine. And um, so chlorine will not be larger than iodine. How about potassium and the potassium plus ion? So we've got potassium. Potassium here has 19 protons. Potassium plus means it loses an electron. So it's 19 protons and 19 electrons. And potassium plus means it loses an electron, so it only has 18 electrons. So potassium plus, the potassium ion, has one fewer electron. So we have 19 protons and 19 electrons. Potassium plus has one fewer electron, 18 electrons. Potassium is going to be larger than the potassium ion. So this one is not going to work. Let's look at sodium and magnesium. Sodium and magnesium are right next to each other in the, in, in the period. They both are in the same energy level. So when we look at elements in the same energy level, so we've got sodium here with 11 protons and magnesium with 12 protons. Sodium, 11 protons, magnesium, 12 protons. When they're in the same energy level, we have a general assumption that their, their atomic radius is the same, or the distance between the nucleus and the outermost electrons is pretty identical. And we know that the force of attraction, the, by Coulomb's law, the force of attraction between the, the nuclear force, the protons of the nucleus, and the outermost electrons is proportional to the charge of the nucleus. That wasn't a great cue. It's proportional to the charge of the nucleus. Let me see if I can erase that. That doesn't matter. It's proportional to the charge of the nucleus over the distance squared. Since the distance is the same, they're both in the third energy level, n equals three, this isn't going to affect the charge, but the nuclear charge is going to affect it. So whichever one of these has a larger nuclear charge is going to have a larger force of attraction. That larger force of attraction is going to bring in the outermost electrons closer into the nucleus because there's a greater attraction between the positive nucleus and the negative electrons. Why can this happen? It's, it would seem counterintuitive counterintuitive. It would seem that the nucleus with the greater number of protons and the, and the outermost energy levels with the greater number of electrons would be larger, but you have to realize that an atom is mostly empty space. So that increased force of attraction is actually going to bring the outermost electrons in closer to the nucleus, which is going to decrease the radius. So the one of these with the largest radius is going to be the one with the fewest number of protons. So it's going to be like this. So this is going to be larger. Sodium is going to be larger than magnesium. So that is also not going to count. So the correct answer is A. We know that the fluoride ion is going to have a greater radius than the fluorine atom. I hope you enjoyed this video. To get more chemistry videos and practice problems, help from our online chemistry community, and the chemistry question of the day delivered to your inbox, sign up at chemin10.com. Membership is free, and we'd love to have you. This is Melanie Fine of Chemin10.